Number 71. Given the following reactions and the corresponding rate laws, in which of the reactions might the elementary reaction and the overall reaction be the same? Okay, so we have this balanced equation, right? 2NO plus H2 yields N2 plus H2O, and we have its corresponding rate law. In this question, we have to find out if this elementary step, right, it's a one single step, is the actual overall reaction for the equation. Now, just know that if you are dealing with an elementary step, which I'll say over here, right, and I call it elementary step, but elementary step, elementary reaction, same thing. An elementary reaction is only a single step. It's only a one-step process. So in this case, I'm going to treat this as a one single step process. But now, if we are saying that we're translating this to the overall reaction, if we are saying that the elementary reaction is going to equal the overall reaction, that means that the overall reaction is going to be that one single step as well. Sometimes um, your overall reaction could be a slew of mixture of reactions, could be two reactions crunched together, three reactions crunched together. But in this example, we just want to know, will this one single step that we are given here equal the one overall reaction step? And there's nothing else that's coming in to interfere. Now, we can understand this and answer the question by looking at the rate law. Now, just know that for elementary reactions, they abide by the, the same rate law, but with a little trick. And the rate law for elementary steps or elementary reactions are this, or, you know, is this rate law right here? Maybe I'll put it down here. So if you are, you know, denoting something as elementary, a single step, the rate law is going to be rate equals K. So that's not anything different. Times the concentration of reactants. Nobody cares about the products. But now if it's an elementary step, a single step, it's going to be raised to those coefficients. Generally, we see this as orders if it's an overall reaction of two or three or four steps. But if you're just talking about a single step, now we are allowed to look at those coefficients. And that's where we're going to be analyzing the reaction with the rate law. If it matches with the coefficients, that's an elementary reaction, right? And that's the overall reaction. So let's see. Rate equals K, that's standard. Let's see if the uh, reactants are the same. In the equation, they give us NO, no, NO. Uh, so that's the same. And then we have H2, H2. So that's the same. But now we got to pay attention to those coefficients. Let's see. So in my equation, I have two NOs. But in the rate law, that NO is raised to the first. There wasn't a two here, right? There was only a one here. This does not match. It is not raised to the coefficients. So if it's not raised to the coefficients, I can't say that this is an elementary step. I mean, we can say that it's an elementary step, but you, can, you also have to say that there's another reaction that's giving you this rate law that's offsetting the, uh, the powers here, the coefficients. So in this case, since they do not match, right, your equation that they gave you and the rate law that they gave you don't exactly match, this will not be the same. So in this case, the elementary step that they gave us is not the same as the overall reaction because that rate law does not match exactly to the equation. And that's that. Let's box it off and call it a video. All right, that's the end. What do you think? I hope this helped. Thank you so much for coming here. Uh, I love helping you guys out. And good luck on those tests and quizzes, all right? I'm always rooting for you guys. You guys are going to do awesome. And I love it when you guys come back and you tell me in the comments, you know, what, what's up, how you doing in your class. I try to get back to you as much as I can during my free time. Um, but yeah, always keep learning. And I will talk to you soon, okay? All right, have an awesome day. Bye-bye.